DJ T stock. I make an in-depth video about the psychology behind buying or selling the stock. In my video, I, I compare buying this stock to the same principle of buying a car that you know is broken and you're selling it to somebody who's put all their hard-earned money. Maybe it's their first ever car. They've sunk all their money into it and you know the moment they buy it, it's going to break. You might not care about that, but I personally do. So now on with the video and see what you think of this. Watch to the end and see if my analogy makes sense to you. And now on with the video. I mean, I put it to you like this. If you went out today and you had a car, you've got a car and you want to sell your car and you know, you know, the engine is about to blow up. You know, it's about to blow up. And you know there's a lack of cars right now and somebody with very little money just left just left home, just starting off, wants to buy their first car. They're struggling, they've saved up some money, they bought your car or they want to buy your car and you know it's about to blow up. You know that. And you sell it to them knowing it's rubbish, knowing they've sunk all their money into it and they're going to lose all their money. Would you do it? I wouldn't do it. I absolutely wouldn't do it. I would take the car to the skip and scrap it. Well, that's quite easy to tell you why it's up today. Uh, this stock is a popularity contest. People are uh, pumping and dumping over and over again. If you look at the chart, it will just show you. It rises and dumps, rises and dumps, rises and dumps all the time. So what people do, they don't hold the stock. Uh, and again, we are a completely impartial channel. Anyone can share their views. Anyone can say they love Trump, hate Trump, love Harris, hate Harris. You all have a view. You all have a voice. Even idiots like the uh, the troll earlier on. Um, everyone gets a, a voice here. This stock is primarily for the fans of Donald Trump. They buy it. However, they don't hold it. They dump it. They buy it. They dump it. Don't make any sense to me whatsoever. The stock is trending down, keeps trending down. Some of you think it's a great opportunity to make money. I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole because I don't gamble with my money. I always make profits. I don't lose money and I don't want to buy a stock with no fundamental value. Now, someone said to me the other day after I did a review on this that, um, that, uh, it's a holding company and they're going to buy, uh, Donald Trump's going to buy a platform like YouTube. How ridiculous is that? Rumble have tried to take on YouTube with many, many, many times more the capital uh, than this has. And they are failing, failing miserably. Um, the Trump media is not going to take on Google and YouTube. That absolutely 100% is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It can't be done. Absolutely cannot be done. So to think that the Trump media is going to replace or be an, you know, an alternative to YouTube is ridiculous. Uh, it's not going to happen. It can't possibly happen uh, for... Uh, Limit, you know, limitless reasons. What this is, it's a, it's a protest vote. Those that want to make a quick buck. However, I like to, to make money consistently and never lose money, number one. And second of all, I like to own something I can sell in the future to somebody else, which is great. I can sell my S&P in the future to somebody else and they will love it. It's a great business for them to own and it will make them money. If I, if I bought Donald Trump stock, right? There's no value. It's just a pile of cash with the promise of buying a business. That's all it is. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't serve anything. It's got no profit. It doesn't do anything. Uh, you're just buying it, hoping that everybody else is going to buy it. It's a bit like a crypto coin, really. You're buying it, hoping everybody else is going to buy it before you dump it. That's not investing. That's crazy. People go, yeah, but you can make money really quickly. Can you? Well, only if you time it perfectly and 95% of day traders lose money. Uh, you only hear of the few that did make money. You, you never lose money if you just do what I'm doing. Uh, so I, I, don't, I don't think it's a good idea. And second of all, I know this doesn't matter to a lot of people, but it, it, bought, it, it matters to me. If I bought this and then dumped it, I've just dumped it on somebody with no chance whatsoever of getting their money out. Somebody somewhere is bankrupt. 
Now, you might go, well, that's up to them. It's their problem. Well, it is. Fair enough. But do you really want to buy something? I mean, I put it to you like this. If you went out today and you had a car, you've got a car and you want to sell your car and you know, you know, the engine is about to blow up. You know, it's about to blow up. And you know there's a lack of cars right now and somebody with very little money just left just left home, just starting off, wants to buy their first car. They're struggling, they've saved up some money, they bought your car or they want to buy your car and you know it's about to blow up. You know that. And you sell it to them knowing it's rubbish, knowing they've sunk all their money into it and they're going to lose all their money. Would you do it? I wouldn't do it. I absolutely wouldn't do it. I would take the car to the skip and scrap it. I wouldn't sell a pile of junk to somebody who's put all their money just because it's their responsibility. Well, it's their their, their, their fault. They should have checked. I wouldn't do it. Now, that's not to say you shouldn't do it. It's wrong for you. If you want to do it, fill your boots. But that is what buying Trump media and technology is. If you are a fan of Donald Trump and you think Donald Trump is the greatest person in the world, fine. Vote for him, buy his hat, buy a flag, do what you like. No problem at all. I'm completely impartial, by the way. I've got no views either way. Do what you want. However, know what you're buying has no fundamental value. It's a promise, and and that is all it is, a promise of, uh, of buying a business which is supposed to rival YouTube. That isn't going to happen. So what are you buying? You're buying uh, the promise that everyone else is going to buy it and then you're going to dump it on everybody knowing you've just sold a pile of poo. That's not worth anything. Spend your time rallying for Donald Trump if you want to, getting everyone to vote for him if you want to, buy his souvenirs if you want to, a hat, t-shirt, whatever you want. But don't buy this stock thinking you're helping anyone because you're not helping anyone. Uh, And I don't think you're helping yourself. Because if you just buy this to dump it on somebody, someone's running around with a stock worth nothing. And you can say that's up to them. But I, 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 I do compare it to trying to sell somebody a broken car that you know is going to blow up because, hey, I can make money. That's their fault. They're stupid. No, I won't do it. It doesn't interest me in the slightest. So it's up to you what you do. But that's why Trump's up today. It's goes up and down, but it's trending downwards. You've only got to look at it, stand back, and see, it's doing what it does every time. Somebody bought it here. Buy, 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 buy. Sell, 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 sell. Down, 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 down. Buy, buy, buy. Sell, sell, sell. The same thing over and over and over again. It doesn't make money. Now, people said to me, well, if he wins, it's going to go up. Why would it go up? Because he wins. Think about that for a moment. Any other stock, any other business, let's just take Apple, for example. Tim Cook. Tim Cook is the CEO of Apple. He produces iPhones. People buy them or they don't because the, t- because the, because the product and the service is good, right? If, uh, if Tim Cook uh, won some, something, I don't know, smartest man, best looking man, guy with the funniest hairstyle, I don't know. I don't know anything. He, he wins an award. He runs a London marathon. He's, he's all over Twitter. I don't know. He's trending on YouTube. I don't care. I only buy the business that he runs. So to me, if Donald Trump wins the election, doesn't make his business more valuable, does it? It's still not going to, it's still not buying YouTube. It's still not going to c- compete with Google. It's going to do anything. Um, so you just bought it to dump on it all, all your mates. And what's c- ironic is the people that are buying it are supposedly Trump supporters. So basically, you're buying it with your fellow supporters to dump it on each other. Doesn't sound very nice, does it? Now, you might not regard that as important, but I do, so I wouldn't buy it. So that's why it's up today. Do what you like. I really do what you want, basically. Anyway, there you go. Uh, so, pays your money, you pays your choice. Click above my head for all the links down below in the description. Over here and over here, I've done a whole Trump playlist. You might want to go and check that out, the Trump playlist. And down here, my psychology of investing. Do the right thing, make money and, and then pass it on to somebody else. Down here is that cash is most certainly not king. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.